welcome everyone to the Ghargar Homeopathy Project Train the Trainer program. Good evening to all of you. Today I'll start with a very uh, no, popular uh, shayari. वक्त सबको मिलती है जिंदगी बदलने के लिए वक्त सबको मिलती है जिंदगी बदलने के लिए जिंदगी सबको नहीं मिलती वक्त बदलने के लिए वैसे ही कहा गया है नजर को बदलो नजारे बदल जाते हैं सोच को बदलो सितारे बदल जाते हैं कश्तियां बदलने की जरूरत नहीं कश्तियां बदलने की जरूरत नहीं दिशाओं को बदलो किनारे बदल जाते हैं है ना तो अब वही करने वाले हैं हम लोग दिशाएं हम नहीं बदलने वाले हैं है ना कश्तियां नहीं बदलने वाले हैं दिशाओं को बदलने वाले हैं राइट हम्म सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज आवर पैथी और सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज आवर डायरेक्शन so today we are starting with the first aid and cpr uh, the different first aids and the emergency medical conditions we have almost finished with but as we were very eager to learn about cpr you no know, so that we are going to learn first of all so we all know that delay decreases the chances of survival that is 7 to 10% per minute so within 10 minutes total 100% oxygen loss and then percent dies isn't it so by 10 minutes 100% death rate and you have also seen yesterday i shown you the death the, the the chain of survival so the chain of survival where in the step 1 you recognize and evaluate okay the scene safety and you do the evaluation of the person all together and the site step 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 2 you call for help and start doing the cpr okay so step 1 consisting of recognition and evaluation look listen feel okay and step 2 start call for the help and start with the cpr step 3 is doing the early defibrillation and step 4 will include the acls so acls is the part which is related to the hospital when the patient is shifted to the hospital or on the way in the ambulance also in some cardiac ambulance itself they start if the cardiologist is present along specialist doctor is present in the ambulance we don't know how many ambulances have the specialist doctors okay even the ambulance uh, attendant is not trained otherwise in foreign countries you will find even the ambulance uh, the trainers the attendants are there that well trained and every cardiac ambulance has a cardiac specialist with them to monitor the patient or who is well trained in acls okay in india when the patient is being taken i will tell you a funny story recently which happened a ambulance driver okay was asking the patient who was being taken to the hospital in the ambulance he was asking the patient to have some alcohol so that he will feel better this is the way the ambulance people are trained okay so horrible situation isn't it so it's very important that the lay people should be made to uh, made to be aware of all these things at least the hands on cpr hands only cpr okay so step 4 is acls uh, and uh, you also see in the major organs vital organs functioning how we check for the major vital organs okay the brain starting from the brain the lungs the heart the kidneys okay uh, all this we ch we check for brain how do you check for avpu alertness verbal response pain and unresponsiveness for all this you check and lungs you check for the respiratory rate spo2 heart what you check the heart rate and the systolic bp the diastolic bp 
and ECG you take. For liver, metabolism, temperature. And for kidneys, excretion. You check the urine output. Okay, so all this you check out for. So you may be seeing what is this present here. So this is the CPR mannequin which I have with you to show you how to do the CPR. Okay, I kept it here. So four basic steps, recognize, decide to act immediately. They should happen within fraction of seconds, okay? Not leaving even one second. So immediately it should ha happen within, chutki chutki mein ho hona chahiye, pata pata, okay? So within seconds, every, the action should be done. Recognizing, scene safety, deciding to act, activating the emergency medical system, the, uh, the emergency system should be activated. So it is... Uh, the case usually can be out of hospital when you're talking, when you're training the lay people that is usually out of hospital. Okay. Now there are two conditions. What we are studying today, we are, because with the point, technical points of view, I'll, I'll tell you some things, but the, all these things can't be uh, explained to the lay people. Okay. So you should understand what should be taught to the lay people. We have the aim of teaching the lay people about the hands only CPR. But you can give an idea that doctors do these things. You can give them an idea so that they come to know. Yes, so this is what is done. Otherwise, you know, many people are just ignorant that they don't know what is being done in the hospitals, in the ICU, in the emergency ward, and they get panicky. So to make them aware, you can tell certain things. But for their knowledge, what they have to do, they have to do only hands-only CPR. You can also tell them about the rescue breaths. Okay, if they are well educated, if they are from paramedical, medical, preclinical fields, they can understand, even they can do it. So, hands only CPR is what we are going to train the lay people. Remember. So, give care until advanced care is reached. Okay, so these are the base four basic steps initially which should happen within fraction of seconds. Calling the emergency number is very important. Call the emergency medical number okay give care until the what care what care whatever first aid care or cpr that has to be done initially recognizing an emergency condition okay unusual noises unusual behaviors unusual orders unusual sights okay that is the recognizing First, first thing is recognizing, isn't it? So recognizing what you are going to recognize, which unusual noise, hai kya, kuch unusual behavior. Hai kya. Noise can be from the patient, from the victim, from the surroundings. Any unusual behavior of the patient, uh, unusual orders coming okay, from him. So from that, we can identify what can be the reason that the person is unconscious has fallen down. Okay, so Unusual sights. So all these things as a first aid responder or as a doctor, you are going to recognize deciding to act second step is decide to act immediately so what while de deciding to act many things come into mind no one thing is fear of being sued are koi pakad lega humko unnecessary koi janjat mein padna hai you know, that thought comes first so you all are aware of the good samaritan act right motor vehicle act bhi pata hai road tra tra traffic accident ka. so there is no fear of being sued so when you train the lay people also, you are going to tell these things only. So there is no fear of being sued. Koi bhi kuch nahi kar sakti. Sirf police kya kar sakti hai? Ek phone laga sakti hai. Video call karke pooch sakti hai aapko. Bas itna chod ke aur kuch aapko harassment nahi kiya jaye. Okay, that is very important to tell them. Okay, assuming someone else will attend. Okay, ki aapne ko kya karne ka hai? Jo raste mein jaya, dusra koi help kar dega. Aapne ko pehle apna kaam karna hai. Right? Bohut logo ko aisa hota hai. कि रस्ते पे जाने वाले क्या बोलते हैं हमको क्या करना है है ना हम्म चलो चलो आगे बढ़ो ऐसे चीजें होते रहती है आगे बढ़ो चलो हाँ तो that should not be done ये जो होने वाला है ये हमारे साथ भी कभी होने वाला है तो हमको भी ऐसे मदद नहीं मिलेगी ना अगर लोगों के mentality ऐसे हो गई तो कोई किसी को मदद नहीं करेगा so assuming someone else will attend is very very wrong okay humanity should be there so we are there to preserve the humanity Fear of catching disease. Okay. So, what happened? I was a resident. 
neonatal ICU. Mein. Okay, my internship ke time. Mein. That was during my internship. Okay, I was a resident at the uh, neonatal uh, intensive care unit. At that time, our pediatrician doctor was there. His, uh, he was the director of the hospital. He said, uh, Rajeshwari, they left the hospital on me for around 10 15 days. And then he said, one of the patients was there, one small kid who was very critically ill and she was needing the um, CPR and mouth to mouth resuscitation. So, on call, he said, give the mouth to mouth resuscitation. I was terribly afraid because she was having uh, some infectious disease. Okay, and uh, as a resident, and I was very young, and I did, I really didn't know that what to, what could be done, and uh, oh my God, she is already having the infectious disease. What? How can I put a mouth on mouth and do the resuscitation? Yeah, I was fearing that, and I expressed the fear. He said, "Nothing will happen. Don't worry. I'm there. No, to do it." And that was how I did. I did it even then, because that is all about exploring things, and isn't it? I did it, but that was. The mask was given and then I did the mouth to mouth resuscitation, right? So no fear of catching disease. You have to take the care. Okay, remember. Okay, some people don't do it. The mask is there. Okay, so mask is put on the uh, mouth. Okay, there is a typical way how to hold it over the mouth and then do the mouth to mouth resuscitation. Unsure of the condition. So unsure, so knowledge medical emergency conditions ka awareness de rahe hain, to condition ko kis tarah se unko pata chale ki kya hua hoga, hai na? So wo mind mein lane ke liye hum unko kuch kuch idea de rahe ki aise disease mein aisa hota hai, aise disease mein aisa hota hai, so that is the emergency medical conditions ka awareness de rahe hain un Right. So unsure of the condition. So we are making them sure of the condition so that they are little bit confident that they will take and go and take care of the patient and give the first aid. Right. So unsure of the condition. Then fear of doing something wrong. Or you be we are doctor is wrong. Okay. So wrong. Ho gaya hai to, sochne ke badle, kuch madad karne ka, okay. So wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So wrong. So So Bilkul darna nahi hai. You have to start doing the giving the first aid and the first aid care and CPR. So after identifying the condition. Okay. So how to identify condition? We are going to tell them. Right. So deciding to act. Itne sare questions. Ye paanch hi questions hai sirf mind mein aate hai. First, pehle ye paanch questions aa jate hai. Ek to koi pakad lega, koi hama janjat mein padna padega. Okay, fear of being sued, that is one main thing everybody has. So, what is solved? The government has already solved it. Good Samaritan is not going to be able to do it. So, what is solved? If you have to do it, you will be able to do it. Second, assuming someone else will attend, we will be able to do it. 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 So, that is. A very bad thing that should be avoided. Third, fear of catching the disease. Okay, so we have also removed it. Fourth, unsure of the condition. Okay, what happened? We don't know. So we don't know. We have found a solution. We are telling them about emergency medical conditions. Fifth, fear of doing something wrong. Wrong is not wrong. If you know what happened, what do you have to do, how do you feel wrong? So, Yes, five of the fears are out of the fears. Okay, now, the people who have trained will be they are very sure that what they have to do. So, immediately active. Third thing is activate the medical awareness system, the emergency medical system. Call the emergency number, ask uh, somebody to call as you are started doing the taking the care first aid dena start kiya to kisi aur hoga to kisi aur ko bolo jaldi call karo nahi to aapke paas mobile hoga to immediately emergency medical service ko call karo aur speaker pe rakh do aur apna start karo kaam karna okay care dena first aid dena start kar do aur wo speaker pe chalta rahega to hum bata sakte ho kya hua kahan par hua sab hai na stay till the call received okay Speaker ko on hi rakho jab tak call receive nahi hota hai. Aur jo, uh, kaisa hai na, European countries mein, 
सब ऑटोमेटेड होता है अगर आप बोलते हो ना तो उसका रिप्लाई आता है ऑटोमेटिकली ओके सो क्या करना पड़ता है वहां पर इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉलो करने पड़ते हैं ठीक है अब बता दिया ना कि उसका पल्स नहीं है उसका ओके हार्ट बीट नहीं सुनाई दे रहा है ओके okay? तो उसका ऑटोमेटिकली उसका रिप्लाई आ जाता है वहां से सो एवरीथिंग इज ऑटोमेटेड इंडिया में वो अभी तक नहीं है ओके okay? तो फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन आई विल टेल यू सी देर इज देर इज वन एप्लीकेशन ऑल्सो ओके एक एन का एप्लीकेशन है जिसमें सीपीआर uh, का पूरा उसमें ऑटोमेटेड प्रोसीजर है आई विल गिव यू दैट एप्लीकेशन नेम so you can also install it and you can tell the trainers or whoever you are training to them also you can tell you you can you can install that application in your mobiles and whenever if required you know if you have to do the cpr to anybody you can follow the instructions from you can do that also okay i don't know whether it is available in india if you know you tell me so call emergency number or ask somebody to call as you give care Stay till call is received and then follow the instructions. Give all detail names, gender, address, exact location. बताना पड़ता है ना एम्बुलेंस भेजते हैं वो लोग तो उनको सब बताना पड़ता है नाम बताना पड़ता है अपना खुद का नाम बताओ या तो जो पेशेंट अगर कॉन्शियस है तो उसका नाम बताओ ठीक है अपना नाम बताओ जेंडर विक्टिम का जेंडर बताओ कहाँ पर क्या हुआ है के एड्रेस बताओ और कहाँ पर एक्सीडेंट हुआ है कहाँ पर गिरा पड़ा हुआ है ये एड्रेस बताओ एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन बताओ ताकि एम्बुलेंस आ जाए राइट डोंट हैंग डोंट हैंग बिफोर दी कॉल टेकर डज ओके रिमेम्बर ओके तो कट ऑफ मत करना कॉल ओके दैट इज ऑटोमेटेड कॉल सो एवरीथिंग इज गेटिंग रिकॉर्डेड You don't hang before the call takes taker does. Okay, so after the call taker has stopped the call, then you can switch off the call. Till then, we should not hang the call. Give the care until advanced care is reached. कब तक देना है सीपीआर या कोई भी फर्स्ट एड केयर कब तक देना है कब तक विक्टिम के साथ पेशेंट के साथ में रहना है जब तक एडवांस्ड केयर पहुंच न जाए okay? जब तक एम्बुलेंस पहुंच न जाए जब तक मेडिकल हेल्प मिल न जाए तब तक यू हैव टू स्टे हु फर्स्ट एड रिस्पॉन्डर यू हैव टू स्टे देयर एश्योर दैट द पेशेंट इज ऑल राइट गिव द प्रॉपर फर्स्ट एड दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट बींग अ गुड सैमरिटन यू कैन सेव अ लाइफ दिस वे Give appropriate care until you see obvious signs of life, such as breathing and response. जब तक उसको breathing start ना हो जाए, जब तक वो response दे दे देना दे देने लगे, तब तक ये care देते रहना चाहिए. Or another as responder or EMS professional has come over and taken over. ये कभी कभी क्या होता है हम लोग उसको रेस्पॉन्ड फर्स्ट एड केयर देते रहते हैं तो इतने में दूसरा कोई आ जाता है मुझे भी मुझे भी आता है आई विल टेक केयर इफ यू वांट टू कैन टेक रेस्ट क्योंकि सीपीआर देने के लिए बहुत जोर लगती है ओके okay? और हम 10 मिनट भी दे दस से 20 मिनट भी दे पाए ना तो बहुत यू आर कंसिडर यूर सेल्फ टू बी वेरी फिट ओके सो कीप यूर फिटनेस टू दैट लेवल दैट यू कैन कंडक्ट द सीपीआर फॉर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स राइट So remember that. So all of you assure yourself that you can give twenty minutes CPR, continuous day power again. Hmm? So another responder or EMS professional takes over. You are too exhausted to take over. Okay, both exhausted हो गए अभी क्योंकि the first thing the first responder should always take care of himself also. That is also first duty of the first responder that taking care of our life is the first responsibility. Remember that. Okay, so you should not get too exhausted that you have a cardiac arrest and fall down. Remember that. So you are too exhausted to take over. Till that time, you can have to. You should have. You should give the care. The scene becomes unsafe. Okay, इतना unsafe हो जाए कि तुम्हारे life को भी danger हो जाएगा. Okay. So remember that these four things have to be taken care of, and the appropriate care should be continued till then. we can see the picture how all the people are doing training okay the training of cpr is being done and there are people 
who are regretting that, oh, I should have known CPR. Hmm? I could have saved the person's life. Hmm? And here is our uh, homeopathic first aid kit, which can be also helpful to save the lives. Then we have this AED, auto automated external defibrillator. I'll tell you about that also. Has Tanishri joined? Uh, I will make you the co-host in case uh, if I'm not able to take in the people, you can just, right? Okay. Now about uh, this environmental injuries, we have seen what can be done. Bite stings, temperature related illnesses, frostbites, hypothermia, toxin and poison exposure, sunburns, okay, all this. Okay, what are these things that we have seen in the last okay, presentation? Now coming to the first aid mantra. What is the first aid mantra? Look, listen and feel. So what are you looking out for? Listening for and feeling. What is that? Hmm? Breathing is what you look, listen and feel. Okay. For, so for the first 10 seconds, okay, after uh, looking for the uh, evaluation, recognition and evaluation, during the evaluation part, this is the thing which you are going to do. Recognition is the scene, safety and all. Okay, then evaluation part, you come to see the look, listen and feel. For 10 seconds, within 10 seconds, you have to see the chest is raising or not. Okay, that is looking. Hmm? Looking at the chest, raising or not. Raising and falling for respiration. Okay, can you hear or feel from the mouth, the air coming out? Okay, nose may say, hawa aray ke nahi. Okay, listen. Feel. What are you going to feel? Mouth may say. Okay. Hawa aray ki ni chest pe haat lagi rakhe to bhi samajh me aata hai. Breathing. Chest rise hota hai upar niche. Hai na? So look, listen and feel. Now, uh, in Australia it is not uh, recommended. Okay. To deliver the rescue breaths. Okay, so CPR is the first chief priority. Mm -hmm. And in clinical situations, using a face mask to administer the breaths. Okay, to giving the mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Okay. And in Australia, it is not recommended that rescue breaths can be given. So rather than giving the rescue breaths, only they continue the, doing the CPR. Mm -hmm. So that is the first aid mantra. What is the first aid mantra? Look, listen, feel. Second mantra of first aid. Second mantra kya hai? A, V, P, U. Hmm? A se hai alertness. The patient is awake, responding. V is also responding to verbal uh, stimulation. P is pain is responding. Uh, the patient is responding to painful stimulation. And U, U is completely unresponsive, unconscious. Okay, so AVPU. So assessing the AVPU is very important. First is look, listen, feel. Second is AVPU. So do mantra yaad rakhna hai. Do mantra. Hmm? Third mantra kya hai? This is not mantra, but to make the person lie down in recovery position. Especially when he is breathing a little bit. Okay, you feel that he has fallen off due to some reason, but you know, he is still breathing. Okay, pulse is okay. So you can make the person lie down in this recovery position. So in case his uh, condition worsens, he will not aspirate. Okay, further complications will not happen. This is the best position to make, make him feel comfortable, make the victim comfortable. Okay, hand under the chin, keeping the mouth open and uh, arm bent over the, over to uh, just prevent the rolling over. Okay, so the person doesn't roll over himself. And leg is bent to support that position. If the person uh, uh, leg is kept over the leg, what happens? There is a tendency that the person will roll over. So one leg should be kept in front. 
so that the person won't roll over. Okay. So this is the position called as recovery position. Okay. This is the pressure immobilization. When we when when we were uh, we studied about this insect bites in the last presentation. Okay. Uh, firm bandages at the site of the wound, keeping the person still, not using the tourniquets, cutting the puncture site, or trying the trying to suck out the venom. These are things which rural people usually do. Okay, they tie they tie it with some uh, rope or thread, and then they try to they try to cut the puncture site. They try to suck out the venom. All these things they do. In case of ticks, don't try to kill the tick before removal. If the tick is there biting the people, what they do is remove the tick. So if they remove the tick, what happens? That stinge part remains inside. Okay. And it may also cause the tick to inject more poison into that site. So don't try to remove it like that or try to kill that at the site. Always seek medical advice as quickly as you can. Okay. If it is a dangerous situation, immediately. The first aid for bites and stings from land creatures can depend on what type of creature it is. So there are different types of insects, different types of, uh, you know, uh, insects which can bite and sting. Pressure immobilization can be done for the bites and stings. And uh, this is, uh, it is designed to slow the movement of venom from the lymphatic system. Okay. Pressure immobilization ka matlab kya hata? Pressure deke, hata, pressure deke usko immobilize karte hai. The lymphatic system, jo body ka fluids hota hai, that goes and empties into the, back into the bloodstream. Now, if it is, there are different kinds of uh, insects as I said. Bee sting ho sakta hai. Okay, why, why, the web spider ka sting bite ho sakta hai, red black spider ka sting ho sakta hai, snake bite ho sakta hai, no? different types and each one has a kind of allergy, uh, the poison depending on the poison, the treatment is, okay, for especially for the bee sting, what is done, what is given is adrenaline injection is given in the modern medicine, in the allopathic medicine, yeah, the adrenaline injection is given. Uh, there is one pen also. The pen injection is carried uh, uh, by the adventurers, trekkers. Okay, epinephrine ka pen hota hai. Okay, that is carried by the uh, people who go for trekking in the forest and all. Okay, and whenever such ki kind of string, suppose a poisonous string happens, some poisonous insect bites, they and the symptoms start appearing as a first aid, they give this injection. It is allowed in the foreign countries. I don't know about in India. Uh, so, the only treatment is the injection of adrenaline, immobilizing the person and applying pressure to the bite and immediately medical help. There is the spider bite also. In the spider bite, also immediately emergency medical service call should be made and uh, bandage bandaging the wound firmly with a pressure immobilizing bandage and then using a second bandage to again wrap that part and splint the affected limb so that immobilization is done. And then after the advanced care uh, comes, then they, they give the anti-venom to recover the patient. There is the red black uh, spider bite also. In, in this, there is a terrible burning pain. So they soothe the pain by giving that ice packs and ice water and all that. Okay, and bandaging is avoided in this kind of spider, spider bite. Then snake bite we dis uh, discussed yesterday, so I'll not discuss it again. Uh, also bites from sea creatures. Okay, there is one uh, sea creature which is very most dangerous in Konkan coastal areas and all in coastal areas in India. There is certain kind of jellyfish which is found. Okay, recently we went to that uh, what is the near Dapoli in uh, Sindhu Durg area. Okay. Uh, and that was that is a coastal area. And uh, when we were roaming around on the beach, we found this jellyfish. And it looks so beautiful, blue color. And, and uh, I was trying to touch that. I didn't know that it was jellyfish. And uh, um, one of my friend was there and they said, no, don't touch that. That is a jellyfish. Okay. And then I just 
googled everything about jellyfish and i came to know it's such a dangerous thing and it can cause okay uh, paralysis it can cause it has a neurotoxic poison okay so seek immediate medical help if the jellyfish has stung you okay or any person immediate call the immediately call the emergency medical service uh, stop the tentacles from stinging by pouring vinegar if vinegar is available immediately put the vinegar over that okay jellyfish immobilize the limb and bandage the bandage it firmly and immediately there is a like respiratory paralysis ho sakta hai okay failure ho sakta hai uh, so immediately start the cpr and you know seek the medical help as soon as possible anti venom is there which is given there are many incidents along the coastal areas where people have died due to the bite of jellyfish okay jellyfish sting and uh, also ice packs are used to relieve the burning stinging pain anesthetic cream is applied to reduce the pain there is stone fish also stone fish sting similar way anti venom is available sometimes a tetanus injection is given then there are tick bites tick bites are very common okay tick bites mein kya hota hai tick jaake skin ke andar jaake burrow ho jati hai andar jaake bus jaake skin ke andar so it burrows into the skin and grasp it you have to grasp it with the head with the tweezers tweezers se uska hand pakad ke usko aise guma ke nikalna padta hai so if it is close to the skin and it is visible if it is not visible you can't do anything okay gently pull it straight out with steady pressure and then you have to make sure that the entire body has come out then wash that side with warm soapy water and then a mild antiseptic has to be applied and you can cover and dress it for 24 hours but you have to monitor that patient okay so keep that remote tick for the identification purpose and in case the person's condition is getting worse the um, advanced care has to be okay see we should not pour any kinds of spirits alcohol or try to kill it before removing okay otherwise it can the tick can inject more poison into the blood and then it can cause much more harm okay Rem remember that that can be in case of any insect okay with a stinger okay so if you try to kill even a mosquito if you try to kill no if suppose it is a malaria mosquito it will it it will inject more malaria into you the uh, the parasite into you okay so it it it, it is related to all kinds of stingers in case of australian uh, paralysis tick now this doesn't refer to india okay a tetanus injection is also needed wasp sting wasps are not so found in india uh, then uh, here also uh, using an ice pack to reduce the swelling pain relieving medications are given also also look out for the anaphylactic reactions which is severe and life threatening especially in case of allergic reaction there can be prolonged swelling at the site of the sting and it can uh, respond to the antihistaminics which is given by the you know, allopathic system of medicine when to seek care what symptoms have to be identified to seek the care emergency number that is difficulty breathing bahut hi takleef ho rahi hai breathing mein okay swelling of lips eyelids and throat dizziness faintness and confusion rapid heartbeat there is total rashes all over the body hives nausea cramps and vomiting okay or if it is a scorpion sting and it the victim is a child okay remember in all these cases it's very important immediately they seek a now uh, call the emergency number also while you are waiting for the medical help till the medical help arrives you have to do something you that is what is called as first aid so what you are going to do is ask the person if he or she is carrying a epinephrine or to injector now usually people who are uh, traveling through the forests and uh, areas where these 
bites usually occur that carry this epipen, epipen and the, it's also called as OVQ, okay, other medications okay, to treat the allergic attacks or to treat the bites. So if the person says he or she needs to use an auto injector, ask whether you should help to inject the medication. Because if the person is not in that condition, because he's already bitten and is developing the symptoms. So if you know, you can help the person. So to know only we are training all this, isn't it? So we train everybody to that this is the thing which can help in such condition. So they keep it ready with them, right? So this is usually done by pressing the auto injector against the person's thigh and holding it in place for several seconds. Okay, so that that medication goes inside and stops the reaction. Loosen the tight clothing and cover the person with a blanket. Don't give him or her anything to drink. Okay, so if the person is vomiting, position him or her to prevent the choking. Position him means in the recovery position. Recovery position also help to, helps to person not to aspirate. Okay. To be vomiting him, he won't go in the you make the person to lie in a recovery position. Then if the uh, person is severely developing symptoms, okay, showing no signs of circulation, breathing or coughing or any movement becomes almost unresponsive at that time start immediately start the cpr don't wait for anything okay call the emergency number wait uh, uh, see the uh, till the advanced care comes you start the cpr and keep doing that and then temperature illness has also we okay we discussed yesterday what are sunburns so in case of sunburns what can be done the blistering is seen sloughing of skin is seen Okay, that happens due to the exposure of the UV radiation. So avoiding additional sun exposure. So remove that person from that area of sun and encourage hydration, start giving him extra fluids. Uh, generally, there is no such medication in even in the uh, allopathic system where oh, the topical aloe vera is given as symptomatic relief. But in homeopathy, we have good medicines which can relieve sunburns. I will tell you an example. Where I was, I, I went to Maldives, which where you'll find it is in the equatorial, almost in the equatorial region. Okay. And where there is a severe sunlight. We went in the month of, I think, February and it was very heat. Uh, the, the beauty of the nature was beautiful, but uh, it caused a lot of sunburn to me. My skin burned to such a level that all the pigmentation happened. Okay, rest of my friends took so much of care, but I did, did not take, I took only homeopathic medicines and got again my beautiful skin back. Okay, so uh, that's how homeopathy works. So topical aloe vera is usually suggested by people. Uh, if not allergic, ibuprofen is also given to relieve that pain, okay, which is caused by that sunburn. So initially I noticed that all the skin was turning red. I said, wonderful, I'm turning reddish. But after almost 8 to 10 hours, I saw that red skin had turned black. Okay. So it was horrible to see my, my face in the mirror. Okay. So uh, ibuprofen is given to elevate the discomfort of pain. Severe symptoms. Severe symptoms can happen. Heat exhaustion, which is much more severe, serious. Uh, what are the signs of the uh, heat exhaustion? Dizziness can happen, vomitings, muscle cramps, all this we okay, uh, discussed yesterday. So make the person lie down, loosen the clothing as possible, use cold water to spray them, use the fan, okay, keep him in an air conditioner, in the AC room. Cold damp cloth can also be used as an alternative. AC is not there. Encourage them to drink more water. Give some good uh, uh, drinks to, you uh, know, juices and drinks. Make them hydrated and heat stroke. It's very life-threatening. So if, suppose, there are signs of confusion, loss of consciousness, dizziness, muscle cramps, seizures, it is life-threatening. Call the helpline number and start treating the person. Okay, assess the scene safety and obtain the first aid kit, AED, 
I use a spray bottle of cold water and a fan. Rapid cooling is very, very important. So if when you assess the person is having a very serious heat stroke, okay, immediate action is important. Rapid cooling is very important. And if the patient is able to drink, encourage them to drink lots of water, sports drink, electrolyte solutions, and continue to cool the person till the advanced care arrives. Frostbite. Now, frostbite is a very common in hypothermia. We studied about the frostbite. Okay, so frostbites, severe cold, okay, or exposure to the parts like extremities, ears, nose, okay, that can lead to frostbite. So, what can happen? What can be done in such case? The person has to be taken to a warm place. Call the helpline number. Remove any constricting clothing, any kind of jewelry, rings from that affected part. Remove all the wet clothing and redress in a dry, warm room and cover with a heavy blanket. There are also that silver blankets available, which usually the people who go outdoor for trekking and all, they take these silver blankets along with them as a first aid care. So in case it is necessary, they can use it. And the frostbitten uh, extremity should be quickly rewarmed, okay, but it should not be rubbed or squeezed or slapped, okay, should not do the rubbing, okay, if you rub and then that can increase the tissue damage. So, it should be quickly warmed in the warm water. Do not rewarm a frozen extremity. If you rewarm, what happens, there is a refreezing pose, chances for them, okay, keep it in the warm water. And seek further care from a healthcare professional. In hypothermia, what can be done? In hypothermia, again the same thing. Remove the person, take take the person to a warm environment. Remove the wet clothing. Dry the person. Redress in a dry, warm clothing. Cover with a blanket. Cover the head as from the head, the a lot of heat loss can happen. It's a source of significant heat loss. Then be prepared to perform the CPR in case the person turns unconscious, okay, a breathing and uh, a breathing is not seen, pulse is not, okay, available, okay, at that time start doing the CPR. Stay with the person till the advanced help arrives. Now, in case of traumatic injuries, we discussed yesterday how the uh, pressure can be applied and how the dressing should be done. In multiple wounds, especially applying the pressure dresses, dressings is the to the worst injuries first. Jada bleeding jaha se ho raha hai, uske first dress that part. Agar multiple injuries hai to, because there is a confusion. Kaun se injury ko pehle dressing karna hai, you know? So first dress the severe worst injuries and then lesser bleeding areas. The person may temporarily be able to assist by holding the pressure to some areas. ठीक है जब तक अगर मल्टीपल इंजरीज है तो पेशेंट को बोल सकते हैं यहां पर पकड़ के रखो छोटा इंजरी है तो पहले पकड़ के रखो जब तक तुम लोग क्या कर सकते हो जहां पर ज्यादा इंजरी है जहां ज्यादा ब्लीडिंग हो रही वहां पर यू कैन डू द ड्रेसिंग ओके वेरी स्मॉल वूंड सच एज स्क्रेप्स कैन हील मोर रैपिडली बाय जस्ट यूजिंग सम ऑइंटमेंट एंटी एंटीबायोटिक ऑइंटमेंट व्हिच द कन्वेंशनल सिस्टम यूजुअली यूज Ask the person if they have any allergies before applying the antibiotic salt. You have to ask them, allergy hai kya kuch a salt, a, a solution ko. You know, some people have allergy to that, that also. So thoroughly wash the minor scrapes and abrasions with soap and water before bandaging. Okay, to clean it, first clean that. Massive bleeding can occur due to extreme injuries such as open fractures or deep lacerations. Okay, now for um, fractures, for deep lacerations and all, the immobilization techniques and transportation and bandaging is a different topic. That is a big topic which we are going to discuss in another webinar, right? Okay, so ye itna yaad hai, control bleeding. Tourniquet use, when not to use tourniquet, kis mein bataya tha, tourniquet use nahi karna hai? You can put in the chat, kis mein bataya tha? कौन से कंडीशन में टॉनिकेट यूज नहीं करना है
Yeah, snake bite, right, right. Yeah, they have blown. Okay, tonic it, snake bite. Recovery position. Good to be done on the left side. Okay, left side. So tonicate, when direct pressure does not control the bleeding, a tonicate can be, is required. And tonicate can consist of a blood, crush, blood pressure cuff, belt or pre-made versions of tonicate are also available. So this can be applied. And then I say round wala cord jasa thing mat bandho. Because cord jasa hota hai na, that is not good. Okay. Uh, belt like thing, you know, flat things that can be tied as tonicates. And although commercially prepared tonicates are more effective than improvised ones, if none is available, one can be made, uh, uh, one can use the piece of cloth or stick like object. Okay. That can be used. So that immobilization is also done and uh, the tonicate like effect is also done. Application of tonicate is painful, but may be necessary to prevent life-threatening blood loss. So tonicate is difficult, use is difficult, can, can be dangerous if it is done incorrectly. Okay, so direct pressure should be applied first. Okay. Remember, tonicate cup use karna hai, kaise use karna hai, that is also a technique. Okay, if it goes and occludes the internal arteries, that can become dangerous also. If it is kept for a long time again, then again, certain complications can arise. Okay, for immediately, if the person, if the hospital is nearby, it is easy to tie the tourniquet and immediately take the person to the hospital. But if for more than two hours, three hours, then there is a ch chance that septicemia can happen. Okay, there are so many complications which can happen. Toxins and poison exposure. That also we discussed yesterday. MSDS sheet is very important. Okay. And also there are toxins which can be swallowed, inhaled, absorbed or injected. Different types of toxins and poisons. So depending on what type of poison it is, the treatment depends on that. Okay. Call the helpline number here immediately. Ensure for scene safety and now, uh, wearing a personal protective equipment is also important. Okay, if suppose it is a hazardous chemical or something, it can danger you also. Okay, so protecting yourself is also important. Getting the first aid and the AED, telling the dispatcher the chemicals involved if uh, possible. If you know what type of chemicals were there, what was the poison, identifying that and telling the person involved. A dispatcher about it is also important. Uh, removing the person from the exposed uh, toxin and poison and seeking a well ventilated area. So taking that person from that area, transporting that person from that area to another area which is safer, ventilated, well ventilated area. Remove the saturated clothing and follow any recommendations from the helpline dispatcher. A helpline dispatcher. Unfortunately, it is not there again in India. Okay. So, you have to identify what kind of poison it is and uh, give the first aid. For the lay people, you can't tell all this because they won't understand this much. But you have to tell poisoning is uh, always you can't identify the poison. So, immediately you have to take to the hospital and first of all, government hospital. Okay. Any types of poisoning cases have to be reported to the Government hospital, remember, remember that. Okay. Agar private hospital bhi hai, to fir wahan par police aake unko reporting karna padta hai. Okay. It's a legal, medical legal thing. Stay with the person until advanced help arrives. And if CPR is required, ensure that a mask is used. Okay. That is very important. Because you never know what kind of poison has been inhaled or ingested. When treating any toxin and poison exposure, the eyes should be flushed with copious amounts of water. Okay, that has to be ensured. Okay, this is the first aid help. Now coming for the medical problems, breathing problems. Okay, breathing problems may amesha adhrakna asthma ke patients hote usually they get the asthmatic attacks. 
okay if a lay person or sees a person unknown person having an asthmatic attack they don't ever know what what happened with the person and then you know even if they want to help they don't know how to help them okay they may not have this uh, spacer that spacer may be somewhere in the purse or bag okay so how to identify that by their breathing uh, you know the, how the asthmatic person breathes wheezing okay wheezing is there so what you have to ask the lay person is ask the person whether he is an he is an asthmatic person okay patient and whether if he is using a spacer if it is available you can take out from his bag and then you can give him or if if a nearby pharmacy is there you can just immediately get it and give to that person so that in this way help can be given so use of a spacer a tube attached to that inhaler that holds a medication so that the person breathes it in okay that can also improve the situation okay so a person in severe distress may be unable to properly use their inhaler so in, in this condition another person who is a first aid responder can help that person to inhale it hold it and inhale it so these are the inhalers i think all of you know how to use this inhaler right is there a uh, necessity to explain this uh, open the in place the opening of the inhaler into a spacer if applied there is a cartoon you know there was a cartoon funny cartoon which i have seen somewhere okay a uh, patient comes and uh, asks the doctor Mm, about uh, you know says that i am not getting relief from that uh, you know spacer which you had given mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what the doctor says what were you doing how are you using it and the person says that i was keeping it in the mouth you know you asked you to keep in the mouth mm -hmm. and i was keep it in, keeping it in the mouth but she was never using the medication to put into the inhaler you know the doctor prescribed the spacer okay and the medication also and he said that ye spacer ko kya karna hai muh mein rakhna hai to muh mein rakhte the that was some kind of joke funny thing okay that is this are how the patients but it is very important that we need to train them in everything okay so uh, placing the opening of an inhaler into the spacer if available uh, and uh, instruct the person to fully exhale place the spacer or inhaler into their mouth so this is a technique of using the inhaler simultaneously how the person inhale slowly and deeply while pressing down on the top of the inhaler canister and instruct the person to hold their breath up to 10 seconds if possible and be be prepared to repeat if the respiratory problem persists okay stay with the person until the symptoms improve क्योंकि okay, अभी ये तो टेक्निक हमको ले पीपल को बताना है कि ऐसे ऐसे होता है ऐसे मौके पेशमेंट पेशेंट्स होते हैं उनको इनहेलर यूज करते हैं तो उनको इस तरह से देना पड़ता है ओके okay? इन केस ऑफ एलर्जिक रिएक्शन वी हैड डिस्कस्ड व्हाट कैन बी डन एपिनेफ्रिन इज अ लाइफ सेविंग मेडिकेशन विच इज यूज एंड शुड बी गिवेन एट द फर्स्ट साइन ऑफ एनी सीवियर एलर्जिक रिएक्शन it is commercially available epinef as epinephrine pens or epi epi pen now in cardiac diseases what to do okay pehle to humne identify kiya tha first mantra what was the first mantra can you tell in the chat what was the first mantra first aid mantra we can use the homeopathic medicine yeah we can use the homeopathic medicine not epinephrine but uh, uh, you know whatever suitable at that condition during that condition the typical depending on the type of uh, symptoms you know we have different urticaria urens is there which is a very common medicine we used for the allergic reactions yes look listen feel second one second mantra what is it second mantra what is the second mantra what is the second mantra first mantra is look listen feel second mantra kya hai 
एबीपीयू एबीपीयू है ना सो अभी वॉट टू डू क्या कर रहे हैं कीप द पर्सन एंड योर सेल्फ काम पैनिक की वजह से कुछ नहीं चलने वाला है दिमाग भी चलेगा नहीं सो कीप योर सेल्फ काम ओके हैव द पर्सन सिट और लाइ डाउन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सिम्टम्स एक्टिवेट द इमरजेंसी मेडिकल सिस्टम वन वन टू कॉल करो इंडिया में यूनिवर्सल इमरजेंसी नेशनल इमरजेंसी नंबर गिव टू टू फोर बेबी एक्सपीरियंस कार्डिया केरेस्ट समटाइम्स इट इज अवॉइडेड ऑल्सो फुल एडल्ट एस्पिरिन टैबलेट भी दे सकते हैं मेक श्योर द एस्पिरिन इज नॉट एंटर कोटेड Be prepared to administer a CPR. Heart attacks can become fatal quickly. Okay, remember, ten minutes is the golden time. Ten minutes, ten minutes me crucial. Okay, first two minutes are very crucial. Two minutes me sab kuch start ho jana chahiye. CPR start identification bhi hona chahiye aur start CPR karna chahiye. A heart attack is a life-threatening medical emergency, and persons with symptoms of a heart attack should be transported to the hospital via the emergency medical services. खुद गाड़ी चला चला के, okay, नहीं जाना चाहिए उस टाइम में, okay? People can do that adventure, okay? थोड़ा सा दर्द हो रहा है चेस्ट में चलो, गाड़ी निकालते हैं, निकाल के चल चलते हैं, है ना? So that should not be done. Somebody should be there. और अदरवाइज इमरजेंसी मेडिकल कंडीशन सर्विस को बुलाना चाहिए एम्बुलेंस को और कार्डिया एम्बुलेंस में लेके जाना चाहिए डू नॉट अलाउ अ पर्सन सस्पेक्टेड ऑफ हैविंग अ हार्ट अटैक टू ड्राइव दमसेल्स टू द हॉस्पिटल एनकरेज द पर्सन टू वेट अंटिल द एम्बुलेंस और द इमरजेंसी सर्विस कम्स इफ दे रेफ्यूज फाइंड समवन टू गो विद दम किसी को साथ में लेके जाना चाहिए okay? और इमीडिएटली immediately go to the hospital hmm? and if not available service is not available till then you can give the cpr abhi cpr cpr bol rahe madam sikha to nahi rahi you are even thinking <laughs> the fainting okay in fainting what has to be done because our first aid part is still remaining you know some things that's why i am taking these uh, fainting is a common reaction to various conditions kis wajah se fainting hua hai pata nahi hai lekin fainting ho gaya hai okay ensure the safety of the scene again help the person to lie down elevate the legs that is main thing circulation becomes comes to the brain elevate their legs if there is no rapid improvement or person becomes unresponsiveness call 112 a person can also faint while sitting in the chair So in that case, make them lie down on the floor and be aware of the potential for injury if the person has fallen from the seated chair. Okay, also have to observe whether additional injury could have happened. If the person does not quickly regain consciousness, immediately call the EMS number. Keep in mind that fainting can be caused from various kinds of problems and some can be life-threatening. so if you are unsure of the cause of fainting call the ms and, and uh, see if the pulse is there okay or not and not if not breathing is not there start the cpr immediately then there are several kinds of like uh, diabetic emergencies can also be there one of the cause for fainting is diabetic emergency as well okay insulin shock hypoglycemic result of insufficient sugar fast fast onset happens Old clammy skin, pale rapid respiration, paleness, rapid respiration, pulse which is incoherent, and you have to treat the person with some some sugar or syrupy sugar syrupy based products, and uh, uh, if there is a ketoacidosis, too much of sugar or insufficient insul insulin, the onset is usually very slow. and you have to observe whether there is a warm dry skin respiration is very slow and typical smell of the ketoacidic patient is fruit like breath from that one can understand ketoacidosis hai diabetic coma we going into diabetic coma the person faints and then slowly goes into coma so that's a true uh, medical emergency immediately call the emergency medical service and start with the cpr the patient has no pulse no breath low blood sugar with 
uh, in persons with diabetes that first aid can be given low blood sugar ho gaya to start it starts with the feeling of confusion and slowly the person okay uh, feels dizzy and then may collapse also so agar early symptoms mein pata chal gaya to immediately pata hai humko known diabetic we know that the person is a known diabetic then you can immediately give a sugar based beverage or fruit juice or milk with sugar or soft drink and encourage them to just sit down or lie down and then if you don't know what medicine has to be given what has to be done you can immediately call the helpline number and take the person to the hospital you can do all these things and if their symptoms improve encourage them to eat hmm? tablets ko jo bhi medication hai medications bhi do okay and are a good these are the good ways to increase the blood sugar and the patient starts feeling better okay many times what happen the patient takes of takes the tablets and forgets to take the breakfast it happens many times with the elderly people at home okay 60 or 65 kg tablets kha lete hain breakfast khana bhool jate hain okay so at that time this thing can happen so ensure that they have the food in time after taking the tablets and medications insulin lene ke baad bhi uh, alternatives to gels and tablets can be packets of sugar honey jelly jo bhi sugary hai from the restaurants whatever is available also you need to keep this in the first aid kit sugar sachets bhi rakhte hain first aid kit mein if a person with diabetes is unable to sit up or swallow safely you do not give them anything to eat or drink always remember that ensure that the person is able to swallow okay so one of the condition in this unconscious is the person's okay epiglottis goes the tongue falls back and the person is unable to swallow and and this time if you give something to drink that will go back into the lungs and cause choking and aspiration then stroke stroke again abpu also see the be fast remember this be fast mantra for stroke okay be fast the help the person to sit or lie down retrieve uh, you have to check for the be fast blurred uh, uh, the um, vision changes then there is if there is a um, slurred speech if there is a drooping of the eyelids and then there is a drooping of the side of the face all this you have to note down and then you have to immediately call the helpline number make the person lie down okay record the first time when the neurological symptoms were noted early symptoms note karna important hai or the last time when the person was free of symptoms these are very important for the investigations purpose when the person is taken to the hospital the first thing which is asked by the specialist is this kabhi pehle note kiya tha symptom kabhi start hua और कभी वो पहले फ्री था सिम्टम्स बिल्कुल फ्री नॉर्मल था कब था ये दो क्वेश्चंस हमेशा पूछते हैं ओके न्यूरोलॉजिकल स्पेशलिस्ट और न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट दे आस्क दिस क्वेश्चंस दिस टू क्वेश्चंस सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस टू क्वेश्चंस हाउ टू बी आंसर्ड नोट करना चाहिए इमीडिएटली आपको याद नहीं रहेगा बाद में भूल जाएंगे तो पहले कभी सिम्टम्स आए थे और लास्ट टाइम व्हेन ही वाज व्हेन द पर्सन वाज नॉर्मल विदाउट एनी सिम्टम्स ये दोनों टाइम नोट करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके सो बी फास्ट का लास्ट है टी दट इज टाइम बी प्रिपेयर टू परफॉर्म सीपीआर इफ नीडेड ओके बिल्कुल अनकॉन्शियस हो गया है नो पल्स नो ब्रेथ स्टार्ट डूइंग दी सीपीआर सीजर्स सीजर्स कैन बी ड्यू टू डिफरेंट रीजन्स अगेन ओके देर इज अ डिफरेंस डिफरेंस बिटवीन सीजर्स एंड एपिलेप्सी रिमेंबर okay so there can be different reasons so what you have to do clear the area around the person to prevent any further injury and place a small pillow or towel under the head and call the helpline number and during the seizure don't try to restrain the person holding the person's limbs okay all these things should be avoided restrain karna bilkul avoid karna chahiye aur ek bar seizure over ho gaya ओवर होने के पहले नोट करना चाहिए कितना मिनट्स ओके सीजर हो रहा है ओके दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हेन द सीजर स्टार्टेड व्हेन द सीजर एंडेड इफ द सीजर इज हैपनिंग फॉर मोर देन फाइव मिनट्स इट इज अ डेंजरस सिचुएशन ओके इट इज अ वेरी क्रिटिकल कंडीशन फाइव मिनट्स से ज्यादा सीजर्स नहीं होना चाहिए सो फील द पर्सन 
pulse after the seizure is over keep in mind that heart problems can also cause seizure like activity position the person to their side to reduce recovery position mein usko place karna chahiye seizure hone ke baad khatam hone ke baad okay sometimes people who are having a seizure wo seizure hone ke baad fits khatam hone ke baad unko vomiting hoti hai अगर वो ऐसे सोए ही पड़े हैं वॉमिटिंग हुई तो वो पीछे फिर से जा सकती है सो इट कैन गो इन टू द रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक्ट आल्सो सो एस्पिरेशन कैन हैपन चोकिंग कैन हैपन सो टू प्रिवेंट दैट सीजर होने के बाद इमीडिएटली उसको साइड में उसको रिकवरी पोजीशन में सुला देना चाहिए ओके तो प्लेस दम इन अ रिकवरी पोजिशन स्टे विद दम अंटिल द हेल्प अराइव एंड डू नॉट अटेम्प टू रेस्ट्रेन अ पर्सन हैविंग अ सीजर Also, do not try to open the mouth or put anything into the mouth between their teeth. बहुत लोगों का आदत होती है ना शू या तो onion हाँ बहुत सारे चीजें रख देते हैं मुंह में ओके वो bite ना करें करके don't do any such things. A victim experiencing an absence or staring type of seizure will have their eyes open but will not respond to you. So this is also one type of seizure. You will see the person is sitting on a chair, but is not at all moving the eyes, just staring. That is also one kind of seizure. You even if you are talking to him, shaking him, he will you will he will not respond to you. So these are very brief situations. One or two minutes can be enough. Okay, is me jerky movements होते नहीं हैं, body movements होते नहीं हैं, हाँ, loss of consciousness consciousness भी नहीं होता है. It seems as if the person is just sitting and staring. okay in that condition also you can just make the person okay lie down okay if he is sitting maybe there are chances that he will fall down from the chair or so this type of event should be treated like any other seizure so iska bhi jo first aid hota hai wo isi tarah se hota hai okay so shock hai person ko shock hua hai shock kis tarah se identify karna hai to bataya tha last time hai na so how to identify the shock person in shock so if you identify that person with the symptoms in shock activate again you have to immediately call the helpline number with the patient go make the patient lie down make the legs okay elevated so that circulation goes towards the brain and cover the person with blankets to keep warm so that you know he gets enough warm and if the person is not having pulse the breath is very shallow or stopped immediately start the cpr he okay, stay with the person until the advanced care arrives as a first aid responder this can be done okay advanced care will take the help uh, medical help if it arrives then it will they will take the person to the hospital and do the rest thing if the hospital is nearby they can take the person to the hospital so this uh, first aid training is kept a, a, uh, is made according to the people who are staying in the rural areas who absolutely don't have any medical help nearby okay so keeping them in mind also i made certain points so that you know they can understand that we have to do these things in even in uh, india nowadays there are areas where there is no hospital at least around you know 30 50 kilometers there is no hospital available still there are areas in india okay so keeping this in mind i have made this now you people are from urban areas okay maybe in future there will be some people who will join our course who are from such rural areas they may get it they may you know use these techniques to train other people the lay people who are living in that kind of remote areas now coming to py hyperpyrexia what to do cool bath cold sweat sponges how to be put on the forehead and skin and liquid hydration through iv or from uh, giving them uh, water drink uh, the electrolyte powder to drink okay water with the electrolyte powder mixing it with that you have to drink so that the uh, hydration is maintained fever reducing medications are given generally crocin is given okay but we are also going to give the medications homeopathic medications which are useful as per state to reduce the fever temperature monitoring has to be done and recorded 
they have to know that in case of child rectal temperature is monitored that you have to tell them okay uh, they have to tell them what is the normal temperature usually for fever okay you, you have to also tell them that thermometer has to be kept in the first aid kit so that they can record the temperature if the person is having a fever so that they can understand what is the high degree of fever and what is the normal you know so temperature monitoring recording is very important so three continuous days if the, if the baby or a person is having a fever okay what can the what can be the complicated symptoms happening later all these are explained in the symptoms of hyperpyrexia okay if convulsions and del delirium start happening then that means the fever has reached the brain okay and then it is very critical traumatic injuries now these will be discussed in another uh, you know uh, webinar but uh, also remember applying a tourniquet is a technique and how to apply it everyone has to learn okay now in case of the traumatic injuries Applying the tourniquet was studied in the last slide. Okay. Now, epistaxis also was okay studied in the last slide. What this is the right technique of holding the nose. Okay. So uh, pressing the both sides of the nostril just below the bony portion of the nose. Okay. Hold it with your thumb and the index finger and Keep your head low so that the blood doesn't go back into the nose and into the throat, in the throat trachea. Most of the times in epistaxis, large portion of the blood is ingested. And when it is ingested, then vomiting can also happen. So pressing that for 5 to 10 minutes. In case of minor epistaxis, the bleeding stops within 5 to 10 minutes. But if it is due to some obvious reason, then it is critical. Okay, if it continues, then also try to hold it for additional 10 minutes. And still, if it continues, then it is dangerous. Immediately seek the medical care. Okay. Also, trouble with the breathing, or if the person is in distress, that is again a critical condition. Burns. In case of burns, what can be done? Now, burns is also a very big topic for doctors to learn. Okay, if you want to revise that again, uh, burns, we can do that in a separate webinar. Uh, the rule of nine, you know, the partial thickness, the superficial burns, the full thickness burns. Okay, uh, uh, assessing the burn is also very important top, top topic. So, all this can't be uh, taught to the layperson, but you can certainly make them uh, aware of the superficial burn, kya hota hai? Partial thickness burn kya hota hai? Full thickness burn kaisa hota hai? Jo jyada serious burn hota hai, usko kaise assess kare? You know, uske, immediately usko jaruri hai hospital ka care. You know, dena. Ye kis tarah se bataya ja sakta hai? So, that things you can tell the lay people. Okay? So, full thickness burn, if it is dangerous burn, if you give the pin prick, it, it pains. Okay? If it is superficial burn, it is very painful. But if you do the pin prick, you will find pain is not there. Okay? Then that is a dangerous nerves have got damaged. That is usually present inside. Pura thickness burn ho gato. It is dangerous. Large extensive burns will also cause dehydration, loss of plasma and all that. Then also the patient has to be admitted. So identifying that is very important. After identifying then giving the first aid. Suppose a person catches fire in front of you. Okay. Someone catches fire. What you have to do, do, stop the person, drop the person and roll the person. So stop, drop and roll. Even if you got caught with fire, you have to do the same thing. Okay. Stop there, drop down and start rolling. That is the first thing you have to do. Okay. If somebody else has done, also start, uh, take some wet towel. Okay. And smother the frames. Fla frame hai to. Flame ko immediately usko ye kar dena. Wo wet towel se pakarne ki koshish ko raha se band karne ke liye. So no, that can happen. Put the flames out. Okay, trying to do this, put the flames out. Blanket technique. 
इज नो मोर यूज नावेडेज पहले कैसे करते थे ब्लैंकेट से है ना दैट इज नॉट यूज get uh, get them down if the person is panicking you may need to use a leg sweep but get the person on the ground and the fire out okay fire lagne ke baad person itna panicky ho jata hai so kya karna pata nahi hota hai okay so if you know that the person is panicking you need to use the leg sweep kyunki usko jaake pakad nahi sakte na pair se usko gira dena hai niche niche gira ke usko roll karna hai that you can do okay and try to put out the fire call the emergency number and if it, if you can gently remove the remove the burning clothing jo cloth hota hai burn ho gaya usko nikalne ki koshish karo lekin agar wo chitak gaya hai stick ho gaya hai skin ko okay to usko cool karne ki koshish karo wet that part and leave that alone usko khechne ki koshish mat karo if it is stuck then don't try to remove it okay leave it alone then wrap the wounds in a clean sheet of the sheet ओके ड्रेसिंग में उसको रैप कर दो वॉन्ट्स को वॉच फॉर शॉक साइंस साइंस ऑफ शॉक एंड इफ सपोज द पर्सन इज अनकम्युनिकेटिव डेलीरियस है ओके फेल दिख रहे हैं ओके साइंस ऑफ शॉक हैव ऑलरेडी एनस्यू ओके यूज ब्लैंकेट्स टू वॉर्म द पर्सन एंड एलिवेट द लेग्स सो दैट द ब्लड पासिस बैक टू द ब्रेन हेड को पास हो रहे हैं कि so elevating the legs is very important so all these things how to be done in the first aid don't use ice over the burns okay antipathic right don't use ice over the burns and also do not throw water or put them in the water hmm? so that's about the first aid to the uh, to the burns hmm? there are different kinds of burns dry burns ho sakta hai scalds ho sakta hai इलेक्ट्रिकल बर्न्स हो सकते हैं कोल्ड बर्न्स होते हैं केमिकल बर्न्स हो सकते हैं फ्रिक्शन बर्न्स हो सकते हैं रेडिएशन बर्न्स हो सकते हैं ना सो अलग अलग बर्न्स को अलग अलग ट्रीटमेंट होता है बट दिस इज जनरल फर्स्ट एड फॉर बर्न्स नो कमिंग फॉर ड्राउनिंग ड्राउनिंग के लिए क्या फर्स्ट एड है नो ड्राउनिंग नेमोनिक इज देर फॉर फर्स्ट एड डी आर ओके डी आर वॉटर ए बी सी डी आर यानी आइडेंटिफाइंग द डेंजर आर इज द रेस्पॉन्स ओके रेस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द विक्टिम ओके टू एलिसिटिंग द रेस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द विक्टिम डी इज फॉर डेंजर आर इज एलिसिटिंग द रेस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द विक्टिम वॉचिंग वॉचिंग दैट विक्टिम देन द एयर वे टॉकिंग टू द पर्सन टी एंड एग्जिटिंग फ्रॉम द वॉटर एंड गिविंग द रेस्क्यू ब्रेथ्स ओके डी आर वॉटर A B C is now C A B. Remember, okay? It is C A B. In the new resuscitation uh, resuscitation rules guidelines, it is C A B. Airway, breathing, circulation, circulation, airway, and breathing. Okay, C A B. So D R water C A B. Okay, remember that. Okay, so what is that danger? Identify the risks. Okay, water temperature, the weather. depth of the water what precautions you have to take and dive with the buddies now this is usually trained for the uh, bay watchers okay the the rescue persons who are at the coastal areas okay they are trying to train to identify these things then response how to elicit the response talk to that person who has drowned okay try to talk to them listen to your buddy use hand signals also Uh, the person who is along with you who is trying to give the rescue communicating with them is also very important if both of them dive together to help that person okay this is also used for them watch watch your buddy's eyes and movements closed eyes bubbles lmc samba all this was uh, yesterday discussed isn't it hmm? then airway that is protecting and opening the airway at surface supporting the head and the neck and tilting the head back to open the airway then tapping the shoulders and instructing them to breathe okay there will be difficulty in breathing because already the paralysis has happened lmc right and exiting from water get the person out of the water 
uh, and be visible. Use a surface floater or marker right, or a boat to rescue them. Then after bringing to the surface rescue, breaths have to be given. Okay, perform the rescue breaths. So that what happens, you have to give that rescue breath so that, that the person gets a stimulation to breathe. Okay, because of that LMC, the person is unable to breathe. Even if he is conscious, if he wants to breathe, he is not unable to breathe. So the rescue breaths will help in stimulating that breath. Okay, so many times because the person doesn't get a rescue breath, the person dies. Okay, so rescue breaths are very important. So perform the rescue breaths and casualties head turning, tilting the casualties head back and uh, lifting the chin and pinching the nose and giving the breaths into the mouth. That is the rescue breaths. How to do that? I'll tell you. I'll teach you that. Okay, then airway, the circulation, airway and breathing. Okay, how to be assessed and then CPR has to be done. Okay. That is the drowning first aid. Now coming to the cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Okay, seven to ten percent. Okay, chances of survival decrease per minute. Always remember this. Okay, 7 to 10 percent per minute decreasing the every minute de delays the de uh, chances of survival. So, by 10 minutes, there is a 100 percent death. Okay, so every minute counts. Every minute counts. This is the usual, this is the normal, the song which is, which is very popular, the CPR song. I'll make you listen this for all of you know this already. But only I have recorded only few minutes of this. Okay. So that is the Jeevan Sanjeevani song by Dr. Rajan, I think. So this is CPR song and for which they have got an award also. And uh, what they are showing, this song, you can show it to lay people, you know, that is for awareness only. So even you can show this song and, you know, and the people uh, already have seen that many people. And you can also teach them how to uh, train the people, lay people, okay, for the CPR, how to train them. Now, in case you don't have a mannequin to train them, you can you see this is the size of the mannequin which I am having. Okay, so it's around this. This part is around five. The trunk part is around five to six inches. Okay, five to six inches, or you can take seven inches also. Hmm. That is usually the trunk size. Trunk ka jo bread hota hai na, bread it, itna hota hai. So you have to take that much size of pillow. Okay, which can be pushed down. You know, so that you can you should not touch the ground. If you push it, that hand should not directly go to the ground. Okay. Hmm? Remember that. So you can just put a roll of uh, the tissue paper roll, which is a big one, big tissue paper roll. You can just keep it inside in the middle of that pillow and stitch it back. Okay. So upper be that uh, the cotton will be there above and below also, and in between there is the tissue paper roll. So that when you press it, what will happen? That roll will get pressed. So that you just imagine that that is the heart over that place okay so that when you press it almost simulates that of the cpr mannequin itna difference hota hai cpr mannequin mein ki ye jo mannequin hota hai na iske andar ek air bag hota hai theek hai which is for the when you give the mouth to mouth resuscitation 
technique is adopted here. Okay, when you give the mouth breaths, then that goes and inflates the airbag which is present here in the chest. Another thing, there is an electrical mechanism here which shows that you are giving the CPR. Okay, this shows there are three. Can you is this visible? Is this visible? These lights. The lights are visible. I'll show you in this way. So here you can see there are three lights. Okay, one green light is there, yellow light is there, and red light is there. Okay, when you give the right thrust on the chest, the green light will appear. If you are giving a wrong thrust, the thrust is not deep enough, then yellow. If you are giving a very deep thrust, okay, then red light will come. Okay, so that will show that you are giving. So for practice also, this one is good so that you come to know you are giving the right type of compression. Okay, for that we use this practice mannequin. And also there is an airbag. So when you give the rescue breath, when you do the mouth to mouth resuscitation, you will see the chest will rise. Okay, this part will rise. So that is what usually happens when we give the CPR. Okay, when you are giving a CPR to a victim, at that time when you are giving the mouth to mouth resuscitation, that you will observe that the chest is rising. So when the chest rises, that means you are giving the proper mouth breaths. Okay. And when you are compressing, you have to ensure that you are giving the proper 5 to 6 centimeters, it is going down. Okay, your thrust is going down. Okay, so that you have to remember. So how you give the CPR, what was told in the uh, song and why you give the CPR? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Why you give? Because the heart is the one which gives the circulation, which, which sends the circulation to the brain. Okay, that is how the breathing will get stimulated. Okay, you press, give the compression and then the initiation of the circulation happens. Okay, so from the heart to the lungs and then from the heart to the brain. Okay, so you initiate the airway, you initiate the breathing, you initiate the circulation. So that is performed in three ways. C, A, B. Always remember C, A, B. C is initiating the circulation. So when you give the compression, the circulation is initiated. When the circulation is initiated, what happens? When you give the compression, the lungs also expand. Okay. And when, then what happens? B is for breathing. Then breathing starts. You also give the rescue breaths. You initiate the breathing. Okay. So in this way, C A B. Always remember these are these are this is what is given in the CPR guidelines. So according to the new guidelines, C A B is what you have to we are doing. Okay. So A is for airway, the root nose to the alveoli, okay, and to the lung inside the lung. And four things how to be ensured here for getting the airway open. That is one thing is oral nasal and uh, the LAB is also used okay and that is a laryngeal mask and positioning the person su suctioning some devices are also used like I said the LMA mask okay intubation is done all these th things are done to ensure the airway then breathing what breathing is for lungs isn't it so there are also certain devices which are helpful, like ventilation is given, oxygenation is given, okay, which is also provided by the reservoir bag mask. There are certain other masks also, venturi masks, okay, nasal prongs are there, oxygen is given through all that. Circulation, the heart, so there are again mechanical aspect and the electrical aspect, which ensure the blood flow. So it is also promoted through the IV fluids, uh, through certain drugs, also the defibrillator is used. Okay, so all this. Now defibrillator and drugs. After doing the defibrillation, the drugs aspect, all that comes into the ACLS part. Now this is explained for you doctors, okay? But you're not going to explain all these things to the 
lay people, right? Hmm? You are only going to explain them about CPR, what is CPR and how to do it. Hmm? And you can also tell them that these things are done in the hospital level. Okay, this is only for your knowledge. If you want to give them extra knowledge, you are free to give. But if you give them, remember that you have to tell you, you are not supposed to attempt all these things. But you have to know if you know, if you know it is better, you come to know about what things are done at the hospital level. Okay, if they're aware of that, then they don't get panicky. Otherwise, many times patients, when they admit such patients to people, when they admit patients to the hospital in the ICU, they don't know what doctors are doing. So they at least get the idea that, yes, so this is what is happening with our patient in the hospital. Okay, they get the idea. So after the defibrillation, E is for evaluation and examination. Okay. So evaluating, several, several equipments are there to eva evaluate. Okay, pulse oximeter is there. Okay, for, from, from temperature also one can assess the from ECGs. Okay, the defibrillator also has the assessment. Okay, while doing the defibrillation also you have that, okay, monitoring the heart's rhythm and all is done at the scene in the LCD, the lead panel of the defibrillator. So all these things are important. So finding the scene safety, then uh, you know, taking the uh, standard response by eliciting the sound, touch and pain, asking the person, are you okay? Are you okay? Isn't it? And then touching and pain, uh, eliciting the pain. So how are you going to elicit pain? This just touching at the, at the supraorbital region, you know, just below that, you just in between the supraorbital margin and the eyeball okay that part if you press the person gets the stimulation of pain clinical response first mantra look listen feel then if no response call for help and start the cpr okay so first thing before starting the cpr look listen feel okay avpu look listen feel avpu after that, call the emergency number. Okay, tell them which location, where, address, name, everything. Okay, don't cut the phone until the person on the other side cuts it. Okay, and then start with the CPR. So CPR, how would you start with? Aim is chest compressions. What is the aim of the CPR? The chest compressions to ensure the blood supply. Okay, then mouth resuscitation. Breathing, okay, making the airway open, CAB. So now within two minutes is the aim, okay? Two minutes ke liye karna hai, Phir cycles repeat hote jate hai. Two minutes kyo? Okay, two minutes mein jo lung capacity hoti hai, okay, five to six liters of air. Hmm? Usme se at least 30% bhi gaya na, to phir there is chances of recovery of that person, okay? oxygen brain tak hai. Okay? so that is very important so how will you start once you are already called the emergency number now starting the cpr hello are you okay are you okay bolte hai? okay look listen for the breath hmm? dekha chest ko dekha upar niche ho raha hai hmm? feel kiya breath ko no response at all okay See the car carotid pulsation. You all know where to look out for the cardiac, uh, sorry, car carotid pulsation. Kaha dekhna hai? Ye sab fraction of seconds mein hona chahiye. Hmm? Hoga fra fraction of seconds mein? Fraction of seconds mein hona chahiye sab. Okay? Look for the carotid pulsation. Nahi mil raha hai. Okay? Kya karna hai? Start with the CPR. How to do the CPR? Can you all see me? Say in the chat, yes, if you can. Can you see me? Okay. You can see the mannequin? Can you see the mannequin? You can see the mannequin? Okay, good. Okay, this is the chest wall, hmm? mid-sternal, 
this is this is the sternum in the center okay you are going to just interlace the fingers okay this is the part which you are going to rest in between at the sternum okay this is, this side is the left uh, left side this is the right side okay in between i just placed this part of my hand on the middle of the chest okay middle of the chest on the sternum at the lower uh, lower one third of the sternum and here i'm holding it like this okay and just to keep the area in this way keep keeping my hands in the 90 degree to the chest wall okay i should not bend my elbows i should not bend my elbows remember okay if i bend the elbows and give the pressure like this enough pressure won't be able to the compressions would, would won't be right okay so you have to just keep your hands am i visible am i visible my hands are visible so it should be straight okay this is the right way okay and when i'm giving the compressions one two three Can you see this red light? The red light. If I give a deeper thrust, deeper thrust, the red light will come here. Okay. So it is a deeper thrust, which is wrong. Okay. So the thrust should be only five to six centimeters depth. Okay. And the rhythm. Okay. The rate at which you have to give this thrust is 100 to 120 per minute. How much? 100 to 120 per minute. 100 to 120 per minute. That should be the rate of at which you are going to give the compressions. How much depth? The depth is 5 to 6 centimeters. Okay. So that is how the compression is given. So this has to be remembered how much time you are going to give this. You are going to give this for two minutes. Okay. 30 times. How many times? 30 times. At the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. How many times? 30 minutes. Write it down. Okay. You have to remember this. I'll ask you again. So, 30 times. 100, and 100 to 120 at the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. The depth at which the chest compression has to be given 5 to 6 centimeters. If it goes beyond that, there are chances of rib fractures also, remember. Okay? There are chances. Many times rib fractures happen. Injuries happen. Okay? If the thrusts are given too but it is said that rift fracture hua to hua, lekin patient bach gaya na. Okay, so it is not so much considered. But you have to remember, if you do lots of practice, always keep on practicing this, mm -hmm. then you can give the perfect CPR. Okay, so remember that 100 to 120, okay, at the rate of 120, 100 to 120 per minute, 30 times. Depth should be up to 5 to 6 centimeters. Hmm? And you give this for 30 times. Okay. Continue that for 2 minutes. Along with this 30 compressions, once you finish this 30 compressions, immediately give the mouth to mouth resuscitation. Now, while giving this mouth to mouth resuscitation, how to give it? How to give the mouth to mouth okay breath you have to lift this chin chin ko aise lift karna hai okay chin ko lift kiya to kya hota hai head tilt ho jata hai head tilt hota hai na hmm? ye head tilt ho jayega aise piche ki taraf 
So when the chin is lifted and head is tilted backwards like this, the airway becomes open. Airway jo hota hai, open ho jata hai. You try it for yourself, okay? When you lift your chin, okay, tilt your head back, what will happen? Your airway will get open. Okay, so you do that. Okay, once you do this, then the airway opens and then you can put that mask over the mouth. Okay, while putting that mask also, you have to ensure that the air doesn't come out from the sides of the mask. So it is held like this. It is called a C. Okay, C, C ke shape mein aise pakarna padta at the angle of the uh, mandible. Mand mandible ke taraf ek ungli aise rakke aur dusra ungli jo is taraf rakke. C ke jaise pakad ke usko. You have to ensure the grip of the mask. And after keeping that mask, ensuring the grip of the mask, then you, keeping the head tilted, chin lifted, you have to give the breath. Okay, when you give the breath, force the breath into the mouth so that the air passes into the lungs. And when it passes into the lungs, then the chest rises. Okay, so give two forcible, forcible breaths. Okay. <laughs> Two breaths you have to give forcibly. And after giving the breath, see the chest rising. Okay. The chest should rise. The chest wall should rise two times. Okay. That should be the force of your breath. Itna force hona chahiye ki your chest rise ho jai. Okay. So those are the two breaths which you have to give. So you have to continue doing the same thing. Okay. 30 is to 2. 30 is to 2. Okay. 30 compressions kaisa hoga? At the rate of 100 to 120 per minute. 5 to 6 centimeters below. Okay, depth. Iska depth kitna ho chana chahiye? 5 to 6 centimeters below. So that should be the depth. 30 is to 2. 30 compressions, 2 mouth breaths. Fir se 30 compressions, 2 mouth breaths. 30 compressions, 2. Okay, 5 cycles mein. देना है फाइव साइकल्स देने के बाद एडी आता है तब तक ओके ऑटोमेटेड एक्सटर्नल डिफिब्रिलेटर आने के बाद यू हैव टू इमीडिएटली अप्लाई द पैडल्स ऑफ द ऑटोमेटेड एडी ओके तो पैडल्स हाउ दे आर अप्लाइड वन इज अप्लाइड टू द लेफ्ट साइड एट द एपिक्स ऑफ द हार्ट अदर्स अदर वन इज अप्लाइड हियर इन दिस हॉरिजॉन्टल वे to the uh, here it is applied in the horizontal way towards the left side at the ap apex and here at the right sternal border it is applied in this way vertically okay it is applied like this okay i say apply karne ke baad ad machine hota hai usme ek panel hota hai lcd led panel hota hai led panel pe jo immediately paddles lagane ke baad on karne ke baad usme activity dikhai dete hain ecg activity okay रिदम हार्ट का रिदम दिखाई देता है पैनल पे और वो जब दिखता है ना पैनल पे हमको समझ में आता है शॉकेबल रिदम शॉकेबल रिदम है अनशॉकेबल नॉट शॉकेबल रिदम ओके वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दैट एंड वंस दैट इज अंडरस्टूड इट शेज इट शेज दैट यू कैन शॉक इट इज अ शॉकेबल रिदम शॉक स्टार्ट करो द मशीन इटसेल्फ स्टे सो एवरीथिंग इज ओके ऑटोमेटेड ओके सो दैट हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड First, only thing has to be you should understand that what the AD is saying. You have to be able to see what whether it is shockable or not shockable. Uske liye, uh, jo rhythm hota hai, the uh, what type of rhythm it is that you have to understand. Then how much joules of shock has to be given? Okay. Commonly, you have to see that the joules which are mentioned there, there are there starts from. Uh, I think uh, 1,000, 1,600 joules, the, this thing is given, shock is given. Okay. So, repeating again the process of CPR, providing the thrust, keeping the upper, both the arms and the forearms at the right angle to the chest. Okay. The elbow should not be bent. Okay. Keeping the hands straight over the chest at the mid part of the chest and then giving the thrust okay after giving the how how is the thrust given compressions given at the rate of 100 to 120 
five to six centimeters depth. Thirty is to two. Okay, thirty compressions to mouth breaths. Okay, lifting the chin, tilting the head. Okay, holding the mask firmly. Okay, and in this position itself, you have to give the mouth to mouth breaths, resuscitation two times. And while giving the mouth to mouth breath, your vision eyes eyes should be on the chest wall. Your blow should be blow of air should be so forcible that the chest wall should rise. Okay, that is the technique. After doing that, you can also check check the pulse and immediately start with the CPR. Because sometimes what happens? Breath giving, after giving blow, giving after immediately pulse start. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, excuse me. Ma'am, excuse me. Is somebody talking? Ah, uh, ma'am, excuse me. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, I want to know that. Uh, the uh, you are saying that uh, we have to give compressions for thirty times. Thirty times compression. Are you listening, me, ma'am? Listening. Tell. We can uh, we can ask me the question at the last part, no, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, uh, what is important is rate, depth, duration, and allowing the recoil of the chest while you while you are giving the uh, mouth to mouth resuscitation, allowing the chest to recoil. Okay, that is important while giving the compression also, allowing the chest to recoil and watching the chest to rise while you are giving the mouth to mouth resuscitation. That is very important. Where you are going to apply the pressure compression? That is at the center of the chest bone over the sternum, where you are going to apply the paddles of the AED to the ap apex of the heart, okay, towards the left side horizontally and towards the right side, right sternal border or vertically in this way, okay, applying the AED paddles. <laughs> this is very <coughs> important. Clinical evaluation is always done. Look, listen, feel. Ek baar, uh, 30 is to 2 cycle ho gaya. Look, listen, feel karo. Phir se 30 is to 2 karo. Okay. Aise karte raho. And then when the AED comes, apply the paddles. Uh, select the shockable rhythm hai. To phir select karo joules kitna kar, lagana hai. Aur phir you have to give the uh, shock. Okay. While giving the shock, how to give the shock. That again, there is a process how to give the shock. Hmm? When to stop the CPR is also there. Okay, when to stop during the evaluation, when you are evaluating, and that should happen within two seconds. Okay, Uthne time ke liye CPR stop kar sakde. Nahi to continuous karte hi rehna hai. Okay, so less than two seconds, jab evaluate kar rahe ho, carotid pulse dekh rahe ho, chest rise ho raha hai ki nahi dekh rahe ho, breath ke liye dekh rahe ho, two seconds ke andar hona chahiye. Okay, aur hone ke बाद फिर इमीडिएटली सीपीआर स्टार्ट करो डिफिब्रिलेशन करते समय जब एड यूज करते समय तभी भी थोड़ा स्टॉप कर सकते हैं सीपीआर करना ही चाहिए क्योंकि अगर शॉक दे रहे हो उस टाइम में सब सीपीआर दे दोगे तो तुमको भी शॉक लग जाएगा ठीक है सो व्हाइल यू आर गिविंग द एड व्हेन यू आर एसेसिंग ओके व्हेन यू आर इवैल्यूएटिंग एंड व्हेन हेल्प अराइव्स ओके एंड दे आर टेकिंग ओवर ठीक है तुम अकेले कितने बार सीपीआर देते रहे हो कभी कभी एक रेस्क्यूअर होता है कभी दो रेस्क्यूअर्स होते हैं एक रेस्क्यूअर होता है तो वो देते ही रहता है सीपीआर थोड़े देर में थक जाएगा है ना सो अदर पर्सन कम्स एंड टेक्स ओवर सो दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन यू कैन स्टॉप ओके द अदर पर्सन कैन टेक ओवर एंड यू हैव टू चेक द 6H एंड 5T ऑफ कार्डियक अरेस्ट Okay, in 30 minutes, that, that is within 30 minutes, you have to assess that. Now, this is for doctors. We can discuss it later also. So, that is about the CPR. Now, coming to the AG. AD, how to operate that? Okay, Sucharitra. This is an important thing actually. I'll finish within 10 to 15 minutes, 15 minutes now. Within 10 minutes, it will be over. Okay. Then we can discuss rest of the thing tomorrow.
right? Okay, so I, I also explained the, uh, how to use the paddles, how to apply the paddles. Okay, there is also uh, uh, some, uh, this, what you say, uh, the probes which can be attached to the uh, chest wall, which can show the ECG rhythm. Otherwise, if it is not available, then directly on the uh, lead panel, you can see the rhythm of the heart. Okay. Any doubts now? I'll stop the live stream and then we can discuss and rest of the thing we'll discuss tomorrow, right?